Well, warehousing alkali beverages comes up a lot um, in the, the non-retail sector, but it also comes up in the retail sector of licensing. There's two kinds of warehouses in California, public and private warehouses. Public warehouses are licensed facilities in which the permit holder is allowed to store alcoholic beverages for other licensees. Oftentimes, you'll have an importer who wants to bring alcohol into California. They don't have their own warehouse, so they want to have the public warehouse store the alcohol for them. Or a wine manufacturer doesn't have enough storage space at his winery to, to, for his entire production. He'll rent space in a public warehouse and store alcoholic beverages there. Occasionally, we even have retailers that have a need to store alcoholic beverages in a public warehouse. You can store beer and wine, uh, tax paid, anywhere in the state of California without the need of an additional license. However, if you want to make deliveries or from a to a customer from that warehouse, it needs to be licensed. You can only store alcohol at an unlicensed location. For example, if you had a restaurant and you ordered, got a really good buy on a bunch of wine, but you didn't have enough storage space at your restaurant. You could go lease a small little space somewhere and put the wine in it and pull it and bring it back to your, to your restaurant as needed to fill your orders. However, if you wanted a client said, hey, I want to buy a case of that wine, you couldn't have them come by and pick it up at the warehouse. It'd have to come back to your licensed premises before it can be delivered to the ultimate purchaser of the product. Private warehouses can be in the same county in which you have a permanent license. A lot of my large multi-unit uh, retailers, especially off-sale, have a central warehouse in a particular county. They also have a licensed store in that county, and they can get all of their deliveries of distilled spirits to their warehouse, and then have their own trucks distribute it to their retail network throughout the whole state. That way, they don't have a whole bunch of vendors going into every one of their stores. Similarly, I have airlines clients that use private warehouses because they have them at each of their airports. Or we have sometimes a, route, uh, a, a restaurant that, company that has a commissary and they're using the commissary and they want to have a private warehouse there to store alcohol so they can deliver it along with the food to their restaurants. So if you're interested in knowing more about warehousing licenses, give me a call. I can help you with a, both a public warehouse or a private warehouse depending on what is appropriate for your needs.